Okay, guys. Um, happy Thursday evening. Just wanted to say hi. And it's Annie, and we're going to get started on um, working call tonight. We're going to talk about fit clubs and certifications. But more importantly, we're just going to talk about like, reaching and just connecting with people on like a different level than just hiding behind Messenger. So I think so often we just get into the tunnel vision where we like get on the computer and we're like, oh yeah, do you want to buy? No, all right, you don't want to buy. Okay, done. <laughs> like no, <laughs> enthusiasm or whatever. And then you're like, sent you a link, you didn't order, whatever. Like <laughs> you just kind of lose that like personal connection and like passion for what we do and like. I see a lot of us on the call. Some of us have been in business for a while. Some of us haven't. And I think that, you know, having these fit clubs and things like this really help bring some of that like energy that you have when you're like a brand new challenger and you're getting these like amazing results. And I, I think it really does help get some of that across. And whether you're new to business or you've been in business for a while, it doesn't really matter. Like this just helps with your reach. So if you feel like you're struggling to find people, this can really help with that because either you don't have much of a following already on social media, like you're someone that might only have like 200 friends. Like when I got started, I had almost a thousand friends. So I had like something to work with. If you don't have something to work with, you know, you have to be adding to that network. So you're adding these people, but they don't know you, you know, and they can get to know you by following you. And you're hoping that, they're reading your posts and that they're on Facebook when you're putting like stuff out into the universe, but not everyone is going to see everything that you're putting out there. But when you have something like this that you can invite people to, that is so like, what's the word I'm looking for? So unimposing, like, Hey, do you want to work out with me on Saturday morning? Like, sure. You have nothing to lose, but you're going to get a workout in. Lots of people are curious about these programs. They just don't want to have to buy them to try them. They don't. And there's lots of people that you can say like, oh, well, why don't you go do on demand? Why don't I get you set up with, you know, free 30 days of Beachbody on demand? And they, they click on it and they're like, nope, here I am. I'm getting wrapped into something because in 30 days, I'm not going to remember to cancel, blah, blah, blah. And they kind of shy away from it. This is a really simple, easy way to not just get people trying to work out, but to also start building that relationship and getting that face-to-face -face contact with people. So, I actually came into this business because I went to a fit club. My coach, Angela, who was my best friend ever, um, posted on Facebook, hey, I'm going to do a T25 workout on Thursday night. If anybody wants to come, it's only 25 minutes, bring sneakers, bring water. We'll hang out in my basement. I was the only person that showed up. I sent her a message, and I was like, all right, fine. I'm coming. I'm going to try this T25 thing. I just had a baby, whatever. I went down into her basement. No one else showed up but me. She probably felt like the biggest loser about it. And, um, you know, we worked out. And when it was done, she made me a shake. And I was like, oh, my gosh, she's going to try and sell me this shake. Like, this is so crazy. And I tasted it. And I didn't like it. And she was like, well, it's vegan. And it's made with almond milk and almond butter. And, like, I wasn't eating that. I was eating, like, pizza and potato chips at the time. So I was like, all right, well, so could I make it with, like, whole milk. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like I'm like, Dan, I'm asking, I'm asking the questions and having the conversation that we don't get to have with people. These are conversations that we don't have with people on messenger. So she sent me home with like seven packets of Shakeology, every flavor under the sun. I drank them all for seven days straight. By the end of the seven days, I was like, I need this. Like, I need these workouts. I need the shake. I need to do this. And she checked up on me the next day. She followed up with me. And now I'm the top coach on her team. So I don't know that I would have joined her had I not gone to her house and worked out with her, had she not treated me like a friend in all of this. So when you say that, like, you're struggling to find people, you're struggling to find lifers, you're struggling to find coaches, if you take it just this little extra mile, you'll probably have a better chance. Same thing kind of with Lindsay. Lindsay and I became fast friends in this business. So she came in because she saw my results, but then she joined the challenge group. And besides the product, besides the program, I really think she just liked having me in her life. Like I think that she just appreciated everything that came with it besides just containers and shakes and, and workouts. So when you can get that like face-to-face -face contact and you can get that relationship started with someone, 
It's going to take you so much farther than Messenger ever can. And another tip that I want to give you guys, you know, before I dive into like actually how to do a Fit Club, like what the like legalities and stuff are of it. Um, if you're not having luck with your messaging, why don't you get off Messenger and try even just sending a text message? Even just try having a text conversation because, and you can turn it over. So if a conversation starts on Messenger, you can be like, hey, I'm not really on Facebook very often. Give me your cell phone number. I'm going to shoot you a text real quick. And move it over to text messaging. It's a little more personal than Facebook Messenger. And people aren't quite as tuned into Facebook Messenger as they are their phone. People are less likely to ignore a text message than they are to ignore a Facebook message. If somebody gets a text message, they're more than likely going to answer it right then and there. You can get like a little voice memo thing going. Or if you feel like they're asking questions, like you've got them curious, you can just call them right back. And then just have a conversation. Typically, when I get on the phone with someone, I can wrap the whole thing up in 20 minutes, as opposed to the messaging that goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. This time of year is going to be tough. The election, Christmas, Thanksgiving, the coaches that are going to do well in November and December are the ones who are going to be willing to take it just a little bit extra mile. Just make it a little more personal and a little more engaging and a little more appealing to people. And a lot of that's not going to happen just on Messenger. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this call. So I'm going to go into screen share and I'm going to bring up the slides. Um, and we're going to talk about how you actually do like a fit club. So what is a fit club? It's basically just inviting people to join you in your workout. It can be any workout, 22 minute hardcore, 21 day fix, core to force. You don't have to be a beast at it. You can be a modifier. Like you don't have to be autumn calories to have a fit club. Okay. Um, there's a waiver in the coach online office. You have to get that signed. It's like a team beach body independent coach waiver. And, um, what I like to do is keep the stacks of waivers. So like if I have a fit club in my neighborhood and let's say five to 10 people show up, that's my list of people to talk to like come Monday. Like I can pull out those waivers and be like, all right, let me message this person, this person, this person, follow up with them. You can pick and promote a workout. So you're going to want to like share and post that you're going to be hosting something, whether it's at your house or a clubhouse, or I know teachers that will do them in their classroom after school and they'll just email blast other teachers and be like, Hey, who wants to work out in my classroom? If you have a gym at work, Hey, you know, you could just message like two, three or four people. It doesn't have to be a giant group. Like you can just message a handful of people like, Hey, would you want to meet me at the gym? I'm going to stream this workout. You can follow along with me. Um, do you want to meet me at work? Like whatever it is. Do you want to come back to my house after work? Do you want to come over on Saturday morning? You can do it in a basement. You can do it in a garage. Like you don't have to have this like amazingly perfect space with like gym floors and mirrors. I did it in Angie's basement next to a bouncy house and we had to like clear toys out of the way and we did it off a laptop. It doesn't have to be this fancy, amazing thing. Um, the workout has to be streamed or the DVD has to be physically played and it has to be positioned in a way that they can see in here. Now, if you're on the Beach Bunny on demand app, there's no disclaimers. If you're doing it on DVD, don't skip the disclaimers. It's just like extra. You just never know. There's freaks in the world. You never know what could happen. And then just be mindful that you're not the trainer. Okay. You can't cue, you can't correct form like that kind of stuff. Um, you have to be certified to be able to do that kind of thing. Um, but you can encourage, you can be like, that's it. You got this. We're halfway there. Like you're doing great, you know, but as far as like the actual physical piece, um, it's, it's really not your place. Like just have them follow along with the program the same way you do on the screen. So I always tell people, bring a mat, bring a towel, bring water, dress properly. And depending on what workout you're doing, like you can ask them to bring their own weights. I've done that in the park in my neighborhood. People literally showed up with little book bags on with five pound and eight pound hand weights on their back. Because, and I brought mine. But like, if you're like, oh, well, I would love to do like total body cardio effects, but then I have to bring weights and this sounds like pain ass. You can ask people to bring a set of five pound weights. It's really not that big a deal. Sorry, I'm really thirsty. So you can go back through and like figure out who to invite. You can invite people that were on the fence, you know, people that you sent these links to that like never bought. You can be like, hey, you know, I don't know if you were still interested in 21 Day Fix, but I was thinking if you wanted to just come by on Saturday in the morning, we could bang out one of those 30-minute workouts together in my basement. It could literally be that 
simple. I think people hear Fit Club and they think like, oh, you know, I need 10 people in a pavilion in a park in my neighborhood like Megan has. And it doesn't have to be that way. Like it can just be you and your one friend in your basement or your neighbor or your coworker or whatever. Um, there's, it could be like challengers you already have who just want to try a new workout, like core to force. So MMA speed is up there. We keep telling people to try MMA speed. If you have someone who's on the fence who's tried MMA speed, you be like, well, why don't you come over? We'll do, you know, dynamic strength or MMA shred. Like show them more of the program. Like show them the meal plan, the eating guide, things like that. Um, you can invite challengers of yours that you think would make good coaches and start to kind of encourage that sense of community. I have quite a few, so Laren Medora, she joined the team after working out live with me in fit clubs in our neighborhood. She's someone that I knew, I used to take my son to her um, movement class. She teaches like a kid's like music and movement class. It's awesome if you live in like the Middletown area. And I used to take my son there and we were friendly and nice and she's my neighbor. Never once talked about Beachbody showed up to the fit club, became like a fit club lifer, came all the time, would bring her girls, they would play in the park. She loved it. Signed up with a Pio challenge pack. Like now is interested in coaching and doing the same thing, trying to figure out how she can merge these two things that she does. Um, and it's because she likes the community. Your downline. So sometimes Lindsay will come over and help me which is kind of nice. So if you have a coach on your team that like you're working with that you want to like maybe get to see more and just kind of help build that like friendship and relationship, you can invite them in. Like I have a couple coaches that will come um, to the fit clubs. There's Rachel right now who lives in our neighborhood and different things like that. So it also helps kind of like train them and teach them how to talk to people. Cause what'll happen at the end is people will ask questions and then you can answer them. And then if you have other coaches from your team there, they get to hear how you talk about it. And you can kind of help each other. So, like, sometimes I'll go over to Lindsay's neighborhood, and we do it more to, like, help with the kids. So if you want to partner up with somebody and do these, I highly encourage that. What happened with Lindsay and I was neither one of us have hubbies that seem to ever be around. They're, they're like, they work weird hours. So, you know, we want to have these fit clubs. But we can't always be dependent on the fact that our husbands are going to be around. So we have them in parks and places where we can bring our kids. So if it was in my neighborhood, Lindsay would come over and – keep an eye on Lou for me. And then if it was in her neighborhood, I would be the one to stop working out to go, you know, help with her kids, vice versa. But then I found at the end, it was nice to have them there because we could kind of answer each other's questions and like feed off of each other's people. Like she might be in conversation with someone and someone else might be like, are you a runner? And then like the next thing you know, I'm talking to someone about running and how I love recover when I run. So, you know, if you have another coach that lives near you, or you're close with, or somebody that you kind of want to partner up with and do something like this, I highly encourage that as well. Um, so some of the do's, you want to encourage, you want to motivate, you want to follow up the next day, maybe offer them something else for free, like a meal plan or something like, hey, I just wanted to say thanks for coming. Um, I just made this meal plan over the weekend. I, I figured I'd share it with you. It's just kind of goes along the lines with like the fixed eating that we do. You know, it's not it's, it would make a good guide. It's not great without the containers and the Shakeology, but it's a nice little guide if you are interested in simplifying some things this week. And then they're like, oh my gosh, that was so nice. Like a, another free thing that she just gave me. You always want to be creating value, more value than you expect in return. So you also want to bring samples. Shakeology, sometimes I'll just make a big giant thing of Shakeology and I'll have like the little like dentist mouthwash cups with me so people can just taste it. I'll bring Energize. Sometimes it's just for cover. Um, I've seen Lindsay just straight up hand out a sample to everyone who's come for free. You could bring samples and you could charge money for them. Like if anyone wants to take a Shakeology home with them, you can have them pay you for it. That's fine. Um, socialize with people and carve out some time to really connect with them as a person and not make the point of the entire thing to sell them on something. I think that's what really will differentiate you in this business from not just other Beachbody coaches, but any MLM in the industry. When you get invited to a LuLaRoe party, you know you're not getting invited for the wine and the cheese. They're inviting you over because they want you to freaking buy something. So when you have these workouts, genuinely just want, genuinely just try and work out and have fun. And if they ask questions, great answer them. If they want to come upstairs and see your containers and thumb through your book, show it to them. But for the most part, 
just kind of socialize with them, have fun, work on building that relationship, and maybe throw a couple jabs in there along the way. Like, oh yeah, well that's why I like working out at home because I already get up at 5.30 in the morning. How could I possibly get up any earlier? Stuff like that. Not like, well, it's $140 and you get seven color coded containers. You know, don't give them a sales pitch. Just really connect with them. Make sure you invite them to the next one. Like, I'll let you know, you know, next time, or if you already know that there's going to be another one, or like sometimes I'll say to them, like, oh, well, I'm going to be at the beach next weekend, but the weekend after that, I'll definitely be around. Like, give them an idea of like, you're going to do it again. Um, when you have people that are interested, encourage them to bring a friend. That's always great. Um, I've had people show up with like their sister that like doesn't even live in my neighborhood. I do most of these in my neighborhood because there's like a thousand people that live here. Um, and have them consistently enough that people can enjoy them. Like if this is something that you want to actually like use to grow your business, not just like, Hey, want to work out with me after work kind of thing. You want to have them consistently enough that people can enjoy them, but not consistently enough that they can depend on them for their fitness goals. Otherwise you're just giving the whole thing away for free. So I wouldn't do it more than once a week kind of thing. Um, the don'ts. You cannot charge for these workouts. Can't do it. You can't take on the role of the trainer or the instructor, and you can't get discouraged if only a few people show up in the beginning. The first one I did, only one person signed up. And what you can do is you can play around with the times and the places that you're having them. Saturday mornings are a good turnout for me. They're much better than a Tuesday while Luca's in school. So you'll just start to learn like what your people want and what your market wants and when they're available. Um, so where can you host them? Like I said, your house, your garage, your basement, park, clubhouses, classrooms, work, wherever, wherever you can jump around your backyard, a church, wherever, um, a gym. Like if it's just going to be one or two people, like, Oh, you get free guests at your gym. Like if you want, I'll come over and I'll bring my iPad and we can do upper fix together. Like all you have to do is grab some weights and go find some mat space. It's not that hard. Um, so that's fit clubs. Now, a lot of people have been asking about certifications because Lindsay and I recently got certified in insanity. Scooty is a certified patio instructor. Maureen, you guys probably know her as Mazeppi Patricia. That's like her alias on Facebook. Um, are all certified now. So we are certified in that format. So some of us are certified in, you know, different things. My coach Angela is certified also. Um, she's certified in Pio and size. So why would you want to get certified? This is something different than a fit club. If you want to get certified, it's because you're passionate about group fitness. It's because you have extra time to dedicate to a part-time job. And it's because you desire to work in a gym or fitness center or community center, or, you know, you have like a desire to serve the general public, not just grow your coaching business. Um, it's a whole separate entity. So I think some of the myths and misconceptions, and, and I'll be honest with you, when I got certified, like in the actual certification, a lot of this became really clear to me and I kind of had it blurred and now it makes sense and I'm comfortable with it. But a lot of people think this is going to advance their coaching business and it's a separate thing. It's not designed to advance your coaching business. So if you think that you want to get certified because it's going to help you grow your team of coaches and your challenge groups and help you hit higher success club numbers, you kind of got it twisted. Like that could, there could be people that naturally want to join, but for the most part, they're kind of separate. I've heard a lot of coaches say that they want to do it just because it will give them credibility because they don't think that what we do as coaches is enough, that there needs to be some sort of piece of paper or something behind it. That's bullshit. Don't go get certified just because you want to be more credible. Because, you know, we, ha we are not the trainer. Autumn is the trainer, okay? We're not going to be Autumn. You don't need to go get a fancy certification and pay $250 to get certified to get more customers and challengers and coaches signed up underneath you. Customers and coaches and challengers sign up underneath you because of your story, your transformation story, who you are as a person, not because of the papers behind your name. Um, people actually thought I was a personal trainer, and I wasn't, and people still do. People are like, oh, you're a trainer? I'm like, don't. Well, I am now, but like, I was not. Um, people also tend to think, like, I'll get people to take my class, and then they'll buy a challenge pack. There are people that don't want group fitness or home fitness at all. They want a class. They want to do it with people. They want, um, you know, the energy. 
they they don't want Shakeology, like they just want to go somewhere, get their workout and drive home. For some people that really works. It's a different market. Um, and then people think that everyone who comes to my class will drink Shakeology and we all just know that that's just not true. Um, you can become certified in all different things. Insanity, Pio, Country Heat, Turbo, Size, P90X, and Quarter Force will come too. Live is like the trademark. So when you see the live after it, there's Insanity, which is the DVDs. Insanity Live is what Lindsay and I do. It's different. It's not, it's not like, oh, you put in the DVD and Lindsay and I are doing the same thing in our class. They're different formats and they're different programs. Same with all of them, Pio, all of them. They're separate. It's different music. It's different moves. It blends differently. It flows differently. It's completely different. It is straight up designed to be done live in a group setting like that. Um, it's about $250 to do a one-day certification. And you literally leave not even knowing how to teach the entire class in itself yet. Like, they go over the moves with you in it. But um, why is that? Can you hear me? Am I breaking up? Okay. You leave really only, so like insanity is broken up into blocks. There's like four blocks. You leave really only with a good handle on one of them. And then it's up to you to go home and like practice it, perfect it, learn it, memorize it, cue it, make the music match to it. It's a lot of work. It's way more work than I ever anticipated. Um, but it's fun. It's re I'm so glad that I decided to do it. But if I'm being completely honest, way more work than I thought it would ever be. I thought they would just teach it to you and then you would just practice it a couple times and you'd be good. And there's a lot of self-starting involved with this. Like you have to be super self-motivated to be able to get this kind of thing off the ground and get really comfortable. Um, if you become a pro member, it's a $29 a month fee, and then they send you new classes, new music and stuff. And again, that's like all on you, that you have to teach it to yourself, watch the instructional videos, really learn it, and be able to recreate it. They don't do it for you. It's up to you to get hired. It's up to you to rent the space. Teach yourself the format and the moves. You get the DVDs. You have to learn to cue, count, model, modify, inspire, and pump up the class the entire time. And you can't mix or match or share or anything like that. So like if I went out and bought, because you can buy them individually, like a new round to teach, I couldn't share it even with Lindsay. Like you have to like buy it and then you have the rights. It's very, there's like all kinds of legalities and stuff involved. Um, if you're going to do it, I highly recommend that you get some personal liability insurance. I've been shopping around for that. And I also highly recommend that you invest in some sort of like streaming stuff. So that's another thing, even with the fit clubs, I have a Bose wireless radio and I stream from my iPad or my phone, the workout through that radio. So it's loud enough for everyone to be able to hear. And that's what Lindsay and I have been doing for the insanity as well. Blasting our music through the Bose radio but when you teach, you're talking pretty much the entire time. And you have to shout because you have to motivate people. And you have to be heard over the music for the people all the way in the back. So I'm going to probably for Christmas get one of those mics and like block rockers. If you were to go teach in a gym, sometimes they have them. But I'm going to um, invest in my own. And you know, if you're going to do it when you get started, you need to bring like a seasoned friend or challenger or coach along who's experienced and can maybe be like your modifier or somebody who's just up at the front. Like they call that like home base. That way, if you're like moving through to like help people, there's like someone else you can watch. I couldn't imagine getting this off the ground without Lindsay. And it was funny because I was going to do this completely on my own. Like it didn't. Nobody had ever expressed interest in getting certified before. It had been something I was thinking about for like a year. And then like a month before the class, Lindsay was like, I think I'm going to do it with you. And I was just kind of like, yay. And now I'm like, oh my God, thank God Lindsay did this with me because this is a lot. And so if you're going to do it, I, I recommend you get a buddy because it'll make it so much easier to have someone to bounce questions off of, to do your first couple classes together. Lindsay and I will switch off. We kind of have each other's backs with it. If you like misstep or miscue or mess up, like they're like, uh-uh, 
like, and then, you know, you need to like correct, like we can give each other a look and we can be like, should we just fuck that up? But it's funny because the audience doesn't even notice. But so that's my tip. If you're go if you're thinking that this is something you want to do and trust me, it's fun. I'm glad that we did it. I want you to know how much work is involved because that was something I was totally naive to when I got started. Um, but it's super fun. So if you're interested in doing something like this, do it, but post in some of our coach pages and see if somebody wants to do it alongside you. I promise that'll make it so much easier. Um, and I guess that's it. I guess that was my last slide. So let me stop the share because I see we got comments going down. Oh my gosh, 28. Um, Maybe you're next. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Um, do you need Wi-Fi to stream? No, you don't need Wi-Fi to stream because with the Beachbody On Demand app, um, you can download. You get like seven downloads um, for each. Pro, like it doesn't matter. So you get like seven downloads. So you can go in and you can get grab like a 21 day fix workout. You can grab a T25 workout. You can grab a 22 minute hardcore workout. You can grab an insanity max workout and you can just have them like downloaded on your phone the same way you would like one of your kids movies and then play it. They give you seven of them. So you could put like seven on your phone and probably seven on your iPad and then you have like 14 workouts. Um, oh yeah. Lindsay just said that. Yeah. You have to get the BOD app, the Beachbody on demand app. How do you remember everything? Um, I still don't. So how many classes have we done? Like, well, we did a couple with Meg Zig. Um, I feel like I'm just starting to remember it and I've probably run through it like 10 times. But something else I did, and Lindsay did this too, is I, I, I put the moves, I printed them off on a piece of paper and I put them in like those clear like page protectors. And when we did our workout last weekend, I taped it to the ground. And that's what the trainers actually do on the stage at like Summit and things like that. I've noticed that before. Like they tape like block one, two, three, four. Like they tape it down to the floor so that they can see it. Um, but it's a lot. So this I thought was really interesting. So Danielle Natoni was like, if you're teaching a fitness class, this is what five seconds of silent instructor time sounds like. Like, ready? I'm going to do it. Watch. That was five seconds. That's a long time to be quiet when you have, like, a group, like, working out. And I was like, holy shit. So I, it's kind of one of those things that, like, you know how, like, at the end of your workout, like, quarter four today, like, at the end of the workout, I was like, oh, my God, what is going on with my body? It's one part of it's going left and the other one's going right because, like, you're getting tired, so your brain is starting to go. That's kind of what happens with this. But it, um, it, um, I don't know. It's challenging, but it gets easier. And it's fun. And as long as you're not charging like an astronomical amount of money for it and people are just getting a good workout in and they genuinely like you, I don't know that they really care or it really matters. Um, do I think it will financially pay off? Uh, mm -mm. So I set the goal when I decided to do it to teach to 150 people a month at $10 a pop. Um, when I taught on Saturday, I made $50. The class cost two fifty, so I still have like two hundred dollars to make up before I even broke even. So I would need to do that like four more times. Um, I called the community center to like try and teach there, and um, they only will charge six dollars a person because the community wants to keep it like affordable. Um, you can rent space, but space rental is like a hundred bucks for an hour. So I would need a bigger group before I can do that. I think just like anything else, like I was saying, like when you decide to get certified, you're starting a whole nother business from scratch, the same way you're starting your coaching business. So it's something that you're going to have to do a lot of free work for, and you're going to have to be consistent with it and patient and just know that like anything, if you water it, it will grow. So like, I just haven't found out exactly how I want to do this. I do know one thing. I have no desire to work at a gym. I don't want to be on anyone else's agenda, anyone else's timeline. I'm never going to work for someone else again. I'm only going to work for me. Um, so if that means that it will take longer for me to build like a following of people who want to take my classes, then I'm okay with that. 
Um, and the way I look at it is I have to get my work out in anyway. And there's like a learning curve involved. So like Saturday we taught at 10 a.m. I left my house at like 9.15. We had to have everyone sign waivers. We had to print the waivers. I had to send everyone the links to pay me ahead of time because I didn't want to take money there. And I had to drive there. I made 50 bucks, which was cool when you think like 50 bucks an hour. But then we hung out for a little bit after and people wanted to talk. I was gone from like 9.15 to noon plus the work that I had done during the week. So $50 an hour sounds great, but it really wasn't $50 an hour. It was more like $50 for three hours <laughs> by the time like I did everything like leading up to it. Um, but I don't mind because I was having fun with it. So like my mom came, it was a good time. Um, oh my God, I'm never doing this. Nicole, you're so funny. Nicole, <laughs> you crack me up. You, won't, you don't even want to go to Joel and Jericho's workout. I think that's so funny. But Nicole, I could see you like working out with a coworker or something after work. Are you kidding? Where, unmute yourself. I cannot hear you. Hold on. I have to unmute you. And I can't figure out how. I did it. Okay. Okay. I have every single one of my coworkers blocked from my Facebook. Oh my God, you're so funny. That I work in the office with currently. You crack. I you would pee. pee. Oh, stop. I would pee and then cry. That is hilarious. I'm just reading through these comments. Oh, you have people interested in doing a fit club? Um, where are you going to do it, Carola? Do you have space at your house? No. Garage, basement, nothing like that. Park. I mean, it's getting cold out. Well, not so much here in Florida. Oh, yeah, go outside. Anywhere. Your driveway, even. Like, anything. Parking lot. Yeah. I don't know. I have like three or four people. With the Fit Club, it doesn't have to be fancy. It really doesn't. Like, it doesn't have, like, it's just like, hey, want to work out with me kind of thing. Like, hey, want to go for a run after work? Like, it doesn't have to be. And I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, you know, and it's not like you have to be the hostess with the mostess. Now, if you enjoy entertaining, you can invite people over to your house and be like, hey, anybody want to work out and have brunch? Like, I'll throw a couple quiches, I'll throw a couple fixed to brew quiches in the oven, and then we can have a mimosa afterwards. Like, do it. If that's what you like, in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it could be anything. You could have a little, par a little workout party. Like you can do whatever. You could have pizza after for all I care. Like, you know, whatever you think your people want, that's going to help then give it to them. Um, <laughs> Lynn, so what did Danielle and Tony say not to do? Have our papers out. Oh, I know. Like, if you're teaching, you better know it and you better not have your papers out. I know. And she also said, never talk about your challenge groups or Shakeology or any of that shit. Don't group. bring Beachbody into this. This is Insanity Live mm -hmm. and your coaching business has nothing to do with this. Yeah. She said, if you are offering Insanity Live group fitness to people and they leave that class feeling like they're being sold something else and you have an ulterior motive, they're never coming back. No, because they don't want Beachbody home mm -hmm. workouts. They want your group fitness. This isn't yeah. to help your Beachbody business. I asked her, I was like, what do you do when people, cause she, she used to teach in gyms. And I was like, what do you do when people ask you about like a challenge group or coaching or something like that? And she was like, I don't talk, we, mm -mm, I do not talk about it. Like I shut it right down right then and there. I'm like, I will message you. No. And she said, if they mm -hmm. like you, they'll follow you on Facebook and they'll know mm -hmm. what you do and you don't have to say a word. Yeah. She's like, if, if people think that you're teaching that class because you want them to buy Shakeology or you want them to join your challenge group or you want them to become a coach, they're never going to come back. So I thought that was a really good tip. Um, really hard to play, man. Uh, my first time I charged $10 a person, unless you were a challenger, then I charged five, um, like an active challenger, like somebody who had just purchased from me, not someone who purchased from me a year ago and doesn't even drink Shakeology anymore. And obviously I wouldn't charge a coach. Um, can I charge for insanity out of my house? Yeah, but I don't want to teach here because I don't want someone to get hurt and have that liability. And when I, um, just a little from experience, when I worked as an esthetician out of my house and I used to wax, 
nobody ever leaves. So it's like, I would put like wax appointments on during like nap time and Luca would be like waking up and they'd be like, Oh, let me stay and see the baby. And they would literally stay in my house for like an hour. And then their 15 minute eyebrow wax that I made like $10 off of ate like an hour and a half of my day. And it just didn't make sense. Like people literally don't leave your house. They're like, can I go to the bathroom? And then like never leave. So I didn't like that. Um, especially like now that would not work for me at all. Like I'm way too busy with my coaching business, which is my number one priority to have people in my house for that long. I need to be able to leave. Um, can you offer the performance line? Yeah. I've seen Lindsay bring like recover and I always show up with energized. I don't share it, but I'm, I'm drinking it. Like I know people are probably like, what the hell is that highlighter looking? Shit that recover? Hmm? How is the recovery? Oh my God. I love it. I like it better than Shakeology. So it's amazing. Tub? Like what do you mix it with? So it's a tub just like the Shakeology. It tastes like straight up chocolate milk. Like it tastes like powdered, like quick. It tastes better than Shakeology in my opinion. And it shakes up better than Shakeology. So Shakeology, I have to blend it or I can't drink it. Recover, I can literally shake that with a shaker ball and just chug it right down. It's delicious. I use... um skim milk or almond milk with it. I know Linz and a lot of other people do it with just water. Mm. I could do it with just water, but I it love it. Milk. Like, Helps with soreness. Okay. And it really does help. Thinking about buying that. If you drink it within 30 minutes of your workout, you'll have better result with it and you wouldn't have to count it as a container. I mean, I'm counting containers again. I've been out of control. <laughs> well, so like, and just so your challengers and stuff know, so like Shakeology is always a red container. It doesn't matter, you know. But Recover, if you drink it within 30 minutes of your workout, you don't have to count it as a red. If you drink Recover because you just want the extra protein, you got to count it. You know what I mean? Anybody else have any questions? Linz, anything you want to add? Is Scooty on here? She's not. Um, she no, I think you did a good job covering everything with the certification. And I do have to agree with you that it was so much more than I thought it was going oh to be. God. Is it fun? Yes. But for people that are just like, oh, I think I might want to do this because, yeah, it may help. No, you have to really be invested in this to want to do it because like you said, you have to water it and you have to be consistent. It's not just like, Oh, I'm going to pop up and do it here. And then I might do this here or you might want to do it. You really have to like, plus it's $250. Like people bitch and complain about $140 as a challenge pack. I mean, if you know, some people don't even make that much. So well, yeah, it's funny because my coach Angela is certified in Pio and size and I always used to be like, I don't know why she doesn't do anything with that. Like, it just blew my mind. Like, how does she have these certifications and she's never taught a class? Well, I know why now because it's fucking hard. Yeah. Um, it's a lot. And it's funny because I was like, oh, I'll get certified. Because So the reason I decided to get – I had always kind of considered getting certified. And the reason I decided to do it was because I was having these fit clubs. And my last couple fit clubs before the weather got cold, I was having like 10-plus people show up. And I was like, all right, I have like a little bit of a following of like loyal people who are showing up to work out with me every Saturday morning. And then Jason and I went to the beach and they did this like boot camp fitness thing down the beach where Jason and I paid $10 and we worked out on the beach. And I was like, I could do something like this. Like I got to get my workout in anyway. So, and I feel confident enough with myself and like that I've grown enough of a following and named for myself in the community that I could probably do that. Luca is in school now and I, am, I like to work. Like, I know there's a lot of people that probably sit there and think like, oh, she's so lucky because she can just be home and now her kid's in school and she's got like time to herself to do whatever. I don't really want to do whatever. Like, I want to be like working and bringing in extra income for my family. And, you know, I want a beach house. Like, the, we're not done yet, me and Jace. So I was like, I could totally put a little bit more on my plate right now. Like I don't mind working outside the home a little, but I also don't want to work for somebody else. So this could be kind of that thing that I do. Like I feel like my son is 
three, he's in preschool, I'm ready to kind of like re-enter the world and not live here in toddler land every day. And it's funny, like Lynn said, what these, I thought the certification was gonna be and what it was when we walked out, I was like, holy fuck, I just, I just got like a full-blown part-time job. <laughs> like, not, like I didn't just pick up like a little hobby, like this is gonna take some work. Um, yeah, because when you said like you it's... That, you just have to have that passion for group fitness and really want to put something else on your plate and, and, and build a whole nother business. So this will be like my side business while my coaching business is my full-time business. Um, my coaching business will always be the number one priority. Like insanity doesn't get my attention, any extra attention until I have success club things like that. Like I wouldn't go down in the basement and spend an hour and a half to teach myself moves from a new round if I don't have success club, you know what I mean? So you just have to think about like what you want and what your priorities are. Um, but the fit clubs more than anything, like I was saying in the beginning, like it's an effective way to reach people without hiding behind messenger, especially if you're someone who doesn't have a large Facebook following right now or someone whose warm market is completely dried up. This is going to be a really great way for you to reach and connect with new people. And like I was saying earlier, um, like try and switch some of those Facebook. If you're having trouble with Messenger, try and switch some of those Messenger messages over to like a cell phone, to like text or voice or even phone calls. Because the power of like voice is so much more powerful than just the little one-liners you're going to send from behind your computer. And you can be a little more multitasked with it. So like sometimes I'll call someone while I'm like, like I don't, use, I don't, I really don't like to work when Luca is like awake, but sometimes I'm like, this person I can tell is so interested. So Luca's sleeping and I still got to clean up the kitchen. So let me grab my earbuds and see if I can give this girl a call and we can just chat as opposed to being like, all right, let me get on the computer and get this power hour done. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like let me just give this girl a quick call and see if I can't expedite this process kind of thing you know does anyone else have any questions no oh, i think that was good thanks i thanks. hope it's helpful i feel like people had a lot of questions about certifications so i just kind of wanted to touch on it like what's entailed and then you know i just it's funny because like with the fit clubs it's how I entered the business through Ange. And um, it's on the business activity tracker. It's like invite to join a challenge group and or fit club. And like it's on there because it works and it has worked for me. Like I have turned customers and coaches from my fit clubs, um, but that's different than what you're gonna get from certifications. So I just thought that was a, a something that we needed to hear, you know? Um, all right. Well, I won't keep you guys on. It's already 920. This went on probably longer than it probably should have. But thanks for taking the time and getting on. And something that I really want to get in the habit of reminding everyone at the end of our team calls, and Lindsay and I said this um, on a team call that we did for Angela's coaches. This was something that we learned at the certification. When we were getting ready to go, Danielle Matoni was like, and make sure you go home and thank whichever family member like helped you be here today. So like if your husband or spouse or somebody or significant other is, was doing something with your kids tonight or cleaning up the kitchen or making lunches or whatever it is, like go say thank you. It's just, it's a nice thing to do. Just a simple thank you and let them know that you appreciate them giving you the time to get on this call tonight because it's never easy. And thank you guys for getting on. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Have a good night. All right. Thanks, Meg. Thanks, thanks for Megan. hosting. All right. Oh, yeah, sure. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. All right. See you guys. Bye.